after after mission, we copy their raw data from fist card to the computer. Okay, this is the flight. Fist data. Uh, image folder. LiDAR data. And uh, post data. Oh, this is uh, readme files, uh, the MUX and offset. Also, this parameter is included the device device parameter files. Okay, so we uh, enter into GeoHawk software to do their data process. Uh, firstly, uh, we use the one key. Uh, process solution. Uh, it is easy way. So we just uh, click the file, new project, and uh, location, and uh, relate, uh, create new project. And the location of the uh, project, same as the uh, uh, raw data, test, test, like that. Okay. And the base data raw data, LiDAR data, and an image are automatically loaded to the software. Here, just click OK. Uh, then we set the uh, FOV of this sensor. And normally, uh, we recommend uh, 90 uh, degree. And, but uh, for the camera, for the camera, uh, FOV is 80, 83 degree. So, uh, just want to make the uh, image cover the point cloud. So here we see the FOV from 140 to 220. So total is 80 degree. Uh, also, we uh, see the coordinate, coordinate system as the WGS84 UTM. Also, output file we could select by file or by sweep. Here we select by sweep. Once we select best web, the data will be processed. Uh, read base data and read the raw data and the GS kinematic differential. Okay, so we uh, software pump the GS result file is empty or the for format is wrong or uh, post result is empty. It means uh, the trajectory data is problem. So here we uh, turn back, turn back the uh, shorter software to process uh, trajectory data. Okay. So we close the uh, uh, GHawk software and we check the data and uh, we remove the processed data. Also, also remove all the data, processing data. Okay. Okay. Uh, we click double click JHawk software and click to enter the short software. And first step, we do the stream file partition. Uh, edit the uh, uh, raw post data here. Open, post. Okay, finished. Then we check the uh, raw post data. Here, we will generate seven files. This is a uh, EVT file for image. This is raw data. And this is MU data. So in the uh, next procedure, MU files, raw data, and EVT files are useful for the, uh, in the next, next procedure. OK, so turn back the short software. Here, first step, we create a, create a new project. Also, the location is same as the raw data. Here, we named GSS and we add add the base data or file base data. And here, we add the raw data raw data. Uh, QKS is uh, 
format of JSON. Okay. And uh, okay. So the uh, short software we are read base data and uh, global data. And the trajectory uh, appeared displayed. And we click climatic differential GNSS. So that's the problem. That's the problem to pump up uh, GNSS result is empty or uh, error, far error, because the result for the climatic differential is floating solution. You can hear float, float solution. Then uh, we, we could manually to select the data, uh, select uh, subnets. Here, uh, we only select uh, GPS to try. And do it again. Uh, we recommend the or the trajectory data is uh, or the green if uh, it fixed the solution. If it if it is not a fixed solution, uh, the final result will be bad. Also, uh, we select the uh, GPS only. Also, we get the final uh, solution. Then we uh, try try longer. Try again. Okay, so we do not use the okay. We only use the BDS subnet to process the data. Oh, that's good. Better. Here you can check the read. The green. Green is uh, means a fixed solution and the quality is zero. It means the best one. Uh, so we can check here. Uh, also, it's fixed solution, but uh, the data quality is one. It means it's not the best one, uh, but it is acceptable. Anyway, uh, here uh, it is not recommend. It is not required to do figure eight here. No need, no need to do figure eight right now. Okay, so we continue. Output, output. Okay. Uh, first, we check uh, the uh, option output, output, epoch, epoch, okay, and the WGS 84 UTM, okay, and the double click, enter the uh, data format of the uh, input, uh, output. Yeah, we, we could say uh, GP, GPS week, GPS second, and latitude, latitude, and all the information. Okay, output. So uh, there are 3,260 points on saved. Okay, keep uh, save the project and uh, create a new project in the same folder here. We name uh, ins. Okay, and the first we edit the uh, GNS result, the yeah, GNS result, and the EVT files, EVT files, and AMU file, AMU file, AMU file, AMU type, AMU type is left tag. Okay, so uh, you can see they are little different. And here uh, we uh, set up the ounce uh, parameters. Okay, just wait a moment. Sorry, smaller. And here we just open the readme file. And here we just uh, the mu mu x mu x mu mountain direction in body frame. Is uh, right is positive y, positive y. Forward is minus z, forward minus z. Up is 
up is minus x minus x and the offset leave all from the GNSS to MU center for right right is uh, minus 0 0.056 and the front front 0 0.083 up up 0 0.4 0 0.2 okay and we check the follow uh, smooth filter smooth filtering smooth we select smooth filter bridge bridge and here don't change do not change okay also is area area also is multi rotor 3 to 0 okay save as default okay and then we click GNSS and the ANS integration the software will process the data for three times okay so the result GN post result display here and this figure the figure one two three four five six uh, is the uh, uh, camera exposure position and you can hear here is the uh, standby and uh, uh, take off area okay so output output uh, pause also we can check option wgs84 utm and output apple epoch okay 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 and top link the uh, data format gps gps wake gps second uh is safe is safe x coordinate is safe y coordinate is safe z coordinate is the velocity most uh, velocity and the pitch row yo is the uh, format of the uh, post output okay output So totally the points are saved. Okay. And they save the project and closed the short software. Also we can check the uh, result. This is the post result. Okay. So we enter into GHOC software. Uh, GHOC software similar with the uh, point creator software. Point creator software is updated from the G Airhawk software. So the operation uh, are the same. Uh, also, we create a new project. The same uh, location, the same uh, raw data, uh, raw data. Also, test data. Okay. And we uh, create a new project also. Uh, the data will be loaded uh, automatically. But for this uh, procedure, uh, trajectory is done in shuttle. So here, we uh, remove the uh, base data, also the raw data. And uh, we uh, here, we choose a post input and post file pass, post file pass. So it's here. Okay. And the letter data, letter files, no need to change. Also image, and here uh, we should uh, edit add the uh, EVT file for camera. Okay. Uh, so the FOV is the same as the one K uh, process solution. Here we do not change. Also here is no change, and here we uh, output file we select by script and the software. The uh, trajectory we are pump up uh, because it's, uh, uh, the post result just uh, added the uh, hook software so it uh, display uh, fast and we manually select uh, select one strip one strip uh, if we select one strip there's one last file uh, finally totally we select four strip and uh, the output uh, they, they are uh, for uh, last file okay apply 
Okay. Yeah. And uh, here we could select the strip adjustment output uh, color point cloud. Also, we could see, uh, we could uh, select co uh, cloud point optimized. Uh, sometimes uh, strip adjustment is uh, not a, uh, not active because there is such a life or uh, the space between two strips uh, is uh, is bigger, so uh, we can't. Uh, the strip adjustments doesn't active, uh, but here we can try. We can try to use the strip adjustment and output color point cloud. Uh, if we select uh, eliminate on color point cloud, it means the, po the point cloud without uh, without the color will will eliminated will be elim eliminated. So uh, here we we don't select. Uh, eliminate all the color point clouds just in case and uh, we save our parameter as default uh, also we can check the sensor config parameter if we just clean sensor config parameters so this uh, par parameter will be uh, displayed also you can see device model is uh, gs 100 v was this camera configure and this configure uh, also is a uh, uh, mentioned in per device parameter. Okay, so we clean start calculation, and the software will decode the, the photos firstly. Then uh, filter invalid data. You know we choose uh, we uh, the output is uh, the output file is best sweep. So there are some area, especially for the turnaround, turnaround or figure eight, the, the software we are uh, evaluate filter uh, this data when uh, processed. Yeah, for strip, so uh, maybe we uh, are four, four times to filter their evaluated data. Okay, the first line, the first one, first line is, is uh, generated. And the second one, the third one. And the last one. Okay, so the uh, LiDAR data uh, calculation finished. We click OK and the same project closed data. Then we go back to the uh, data, raw data folders here. There are, there are four NAS files. And we could check a uh, NAS file to the uh, third-party post-processing software. Just check it. Okay, so that's uh, the data. That's the data. And we uh, could display uh, by something like Oh, color by intensity, color by intensity is no uh, image data, only the point cloud data. Also, we can select the color by uh, RGB camera, so it, it, it is color point cloud. If the data is problem, uh, we, uh, we could use the Post-processing software to achieve to check it. Okay, so the R uh, process is done. 